What's up you guys, this is Vincenity, and today I'm hanging out with Matt Action from Waseda Breakers and Rock Force. And today he's gonna be teaching you guys how to do a head spin drill. That's right everyone, the head spin drill, in my opinion, is one of the coolest, like most dynamic head spin variations that there is out there. I learned it from a guy named Mega Man from Soul Control Crew, and it took me a long time to get it, and I've learned a lot of shortcuts and a lot of uh, different tricks along the way to do it better, so I'm gonna share with you what I know today so that you can get it at home. Alright everyone, so we're going to start talking about how to do your head spin drill. And um, the first thing that I want to talk about is the equipment that you use. So as you can see, I'm wearing all Adidas. The only way you're going to do head spin drills is if you wear all Adidas. Nike? No. Reebok? No. Has to be Adidas. No, I'm just like, you gotta do that. Um, what you do need though is a good head spin beanie or a helmet. When it comes to beanies, I would say that this one, actually innovated by my teacher Mega Man, and the other one is Charles from Soul Control. This brand is called Spin Control, and the reason that this beanie is good is because of one, the mesh, it's double layered, that's really nice. The band right here, this keeps it on your head. So with most beanies, they don't have this band. And once you don't have the band on, the beanie is going to slide out from under your head and it's going to be really hard to practice. The third thing that's the most important I think about this beanie and the reason why it's good for drills or learning head spins is the pad on the inside. So you can see here there's this pad and what that does is it keeps your head from one not going bald but two it doesn't hurt when you head spin as much. So the good thing about that is you can practice longer, be stronger with your head spins, all that kind of stuff. The other alternative is to get a head spin helmet, um, which isn't a bad alternative either, and that's gonna let you practice for a really long time. But if you don't wanna run around with a helmet on your head, this is the one to go with. It's from Spin Control, spincontrol.co, and you can buy them there. Let's get to the first step of actually doing a head spin drill. So this tutorial is gonna assume that you can already ride. If you can't do a normal head spin ride, which is just gliding with your hands out, or just getting more than being in control of your ride, it's gonna be really hard to drill. So make sure you got that first, okay? For now, don't worry about your leg position. What I want you to focus on is your hand position. So if your hands are in like this, or like barely out, or one is weirdly in front of the other, you're not gonna be able to balance. So from your normal ride, what you wanna practice is getting your hands out nice and even, okay? So you can see my hands are out, and to the side. Now, if you notice, my hands are a little bit forward. If they're straight out to the side, it's actually not gonna be very good for the drill. You want your hands a little bit forward, and this is the golden rule. This is gonna let, let you practice for a lot longer. Don't keep them completely straight, because if they're going completely straight, and you're speeding up as quick as you're gonna go in this drill, all the blood from your body is gonna pool in your fingers, and I've literally had like little red dots come out because my my vessels are bleeding from the centrifugal force. So what you want to do, and this is the craziest thing, uh, Mega Man told me this and it changed my life. You want to bend your elbows a little bit and that stops the blood from going all the way to your fingers. It stops it here and that lets you practice a lot longer. It also gives you a little bit more maneuverability when you're using your hands. So when you're doing that drill, make sure that your arms are what's controlling your momentum. That's like step one. You can't be letting your legs control the momentum. It's going to be your arms. Step two. Once you got your arms out, a little bit in front, and a little bit curved, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go on your head and you're gonna start thinking about where your feet are. So no matter what position you start in, your feet have to come over your butt. That's the most important thing, is getting your feet over your butt. What always happens is people kinda get their feet over and then they shoot up into the drill real quick. But I'm gonna show you a couple ways that you can position your feet, which are gonna be pretty helpful. Okay, so the beanie's on. We're gonna go from the basic bicycle position, okay? What you wanna do is get your feet over your bottom. No matter what position your legs are in, get your feet over your bottom and maintain your hand placement. Once your hands go out of whack, it's over. It's all about the hands on this move, okay? So, bicycle position. You're gonna be like this. What you can do, since this back leg, my left leg, if you spin the opposite way from me, I spin counterclockwise. If you spin clockwise, then it's going to be your other leg. So for me, my left leg is here. What I want to do is try to extend this leg up, straight up. So now that this leg is up and this leg's in front, I can bring this leg, my right leg, to my thigh or to my knee. 
And then from there, push up. So, going from the bicycle position, you're gonna go from here, put this foot up, get your heel over your butt, put this leg across, and push up. And while you're doing that, your hand should be out. And remember, out in front and a little bit bent. That's gonna make it happen for you. So the next position that people usually ride in is gonna be in a uh, just a normal sitting position. So what you're gonna to wanna to do to get your heels over your butt is if you're here, you just pull them in and you do what's first called, I call it the diamond girl. <laughs> so you do this position and if you can ride like this, you're almost ready to drill. So what you do from here, once you get your feet over, is you push up. So before you actually try to push up, let's talk about the way that you do it. You don't want to just boom and go. It's going to give you a lot of momentum, but you're not going to be using the, the, the force of your hands to balance. What you're going to do is you're going to go up real slow, whether or not you're going from the bicycle or whether you're going from the sitting position, you're going to go real slow. You got to control this move. And when you get it real good, you can drill quick. If it was the bicycle, it's literally going to look like this. Leg goes up, this leg crosses, and you slowly go up, paying attention to where your hands are, feel the force in your arms, and drill up slowly and just hold on to it as long as you can. Get your legs, your heels up, and just ride it out. That's how you can do it from the bicycle. The other way, here, get your legs over your, over your butt, and you're gonna go up nice and slow. If your knees are apart, that's okay. Just go slow until you can lock them together. Once you get on that center and your arms are controlling the momentum, it's gonna be real easy. So earlier I was talking about finding the center and using your arms to control the momentum. A really important point that you should be keeping track of, whether you're doing a drill or not, is your chin placement. So if your chin is out like this, so your head is literally like this, one that's gonna do a lot of damage to your neck. So don't let that happen. Keep your chin in as much as possible and keep your back nice and straight. Keep your alignment straight because we don't wanna go to the hospital. <laughs> so keep that. It's not just gonna keep you safe, but it's also gonna help your, your general head's been formed, and it's gonna be a lot easier to do all the combinations that you're gonna wanna do, whether it's a drill or anything. So keep your chin in, mind your hands, and drill slowly. Keep your heels over your butt. So if I can go over the, the four points that I think are important. Chin in, hand placement and momentum. Heels over your butt, drill slow in the beginning. That's the four points. So if you can do that, you're gonna get your drills. It might take some time, but it is, one of the coolest moves that you can do in front of people because I think out of all the moves that I do, um, not, not even just in front of b-boys, just in, in like a normal crowd, that is the move that will always just be crazy impressive to people. They just can't believe it. So I hope you guys liked the tutorial. If you liked it, drop, drop something in the comments. Let us know if you have more questions or you want to know more about other headspin variations or just power moves in general, you can find us. We, uh, we make these beanies at spincontrol.co or on Instagram at the spin control. Lastly, if you want to hit me up, I'm at B-Boy Mad Action on Instagram, so you can look me up there. And um, yeah, let me know if you liked the tutorial, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace.